Hi children, welcome back to another session of solving the sample papers. Now this is sample paper 2. So let's start. Section A, the objectives. The structure in chromatin seen as beads on string. Have you come, ac come across this term beads on string? Shall we check the textbook? The chapter molecular basis of inheritance and take the structure of DNA, molecular structure of DNA where they talk about the nucleosomes. Can you see here? So what forms this beads on string structure? The nucleosomes in the chromatin are seen as beads on string structure. The nucleosomes in the chromatin are seen as beads on string structure. I hope you have seen in your textbook and marked it. So the answer is nucleosomes. Next question. For which of the following cases population density can be easily determined by not utilizing biological entities directly? In this case, you know, uh, it is tiger census because in tiger census, they do not use any of the biological entity like uh, a temperature, pH or any of those uh, uh, like habitat resources or any kind of these uh, calculations or measures or parameters will be used. If uh, tiger census is to be uh, taken, they can simply count the um, pars or the fecal matter there. Okay, so tiger census. Now, identify so this is there in your textbook identify the palindromic sequence you know what a palindrome is the one which reads forward and backward alike g a a t t c so it is not reading c t t u u g okay it's not reading alike and here g c c t g c c c a g g no g g a t c c g g a t c c yes this is a palindromic sequence we'll check the last option too a t a g c g c t a no it is a a t c g no it's not in a palindrome so this is a palindromic sequence identify the incorrect pair from the following with respect to the angiosperms let's see the options primary endosperm nucleus it is triploid they've given as triploid antibodies diploid Cells of the new cells of ovule diploid and the vegetative cell of male gametophyte is haploid. So we have to identify the incorrect pair, right? So first let's check primary ento endosperm nucleus that is PEN. So it is formed as a result of triploid fusion, right? Yes, so it is triploid, right? Cells of new cells, sorry, next one, antibodies, diploid. Do you think the antibodies are diploid? No. All the cells in an embryo sac, actually the embryo sac, because the contents of the embryo sac are all haploid in nature because after the meiotic division, the embryo sac is formed. So all the cells inside the embryo sac are haploid in nature. So antibodies which are seen inside the embryo sac is haploid. So this is actually a wrong statement. Cells of the new cells of ovule, it is diploid. Yes, it is diploid. And vegetative cell of male gametophyte N. Male gametophyte, the pollen grain has a vegetative cell. And that vegetative cell is, of course, haploid. Because it is formed as a result of, so this is one of the tetrad, microspore tetrad. So it is formed as a result of meiotic division. So it is haploid. So this is the right answer. This is the incorrect pair. Biochemical oxygen demand BOD in a river water has no relationship with concentration of oxygen in water, gives a measure of salmonella in water, increases when sewage added to river water. Yes, BOD means demand for oxygen is more. So demand for oxygen increases if the pollutant in the water is more. So it is increased when or it increases when sewage is added. Next question. In a given population of 2,000 individuals, 80 births, 125 deaths were reported over a given period of time. Which of the following graphs will correspond to it? So you can see the graph here, it is declining. Here this is steady and it is increasing. And here it increases and comes down, right? So in a given population there, the birth rate is less and the death rate is high. So in that case, it, the population, the graph would be declining. So declining graph. Okay, since the birth rate is less and death rate is high, the population growth is will be declining. So it is represented by this graph. A plant native to South America which produces cocaine. Which is the plant? Yes, it is Erythroxylum coca. Which chapter? Human health and diseases. Shall we uh, look into the chapter? Yes, human health and diseases, drugs. 
Yeah, the coca alkaloid or cocaine is obtained from coca plant, erythroxylum coca, and it, it is a native of South America. Did you all see? Please mark it down. Next question. Match the column 1 with column 2. So actually this uh, match the following is based on this figure. Fimbriae, fallopian tube, infantibulum and ampulla. So I shall just uh, increase the size of the figure. So fimbriae, which is fimbriae, you can see this region is fimbriae. So fimbriae, it's a part, sorry, it uh, capture ova released to the silo. So that shall be the answer right it can uh, it is closer to this ovary so uh, ovum released into the coelom coelom is the body cavity and that is picked up by this fimbriae yes next one fallopian tube this tube is the fallopian tube so fallopian tube is otherwise called as oviduct yes infundibulum you see infundibulum which is very much closer to the fimbriae so part of the oviduct closer to the ovary. Yeah, it is very close to the ovary. So infundibulum, it is closer to the ovary. And ampulla is the region where the fertilization occurs. So ampulla, ampullary site like ampulla uh, is a site of fertilization. So what suits this answer? Uh, A2, B1, C4 and uh, D. Yeah, D3. So, option B. Option B is the right answer. Next one. Replacement of a lighter colored variety of peppered moth in England is an example of. So, you remember that experiment. The lighter colored variety of peppered moth uh, replaced by the dark one due to the, uh, as a result of the industrial evolution. Yes, it is only by natural selection. It's an example of natural selection. The inoculum added to the fresh milk in order to convert milk into curd so the inoculum what is meant by inoculum inoculum is always a starter so here to convert milk into curd starter rich in vitamin b12 will vitamin b12 convert milk into curd or a starter rich in protein or it is lactobacillus lactic acid bacteria or is an aerobic digester yes it is lactobacillus bacteria so lactic acid bacteria a starter containing millions of lab this is also there in your textbook shall we check the chapter microbes in human welfare we will see the statement given there a small amount of curd added to the fresh milk as inoculum or starter containing millions of lactic acid lacto uh, sorry lactic acid bacteria lab which its suitable temperatures multiply and convert and thus converting milk into curd which improves its nutritional quality by increasing vitamin b12 so it increases the quantity of vitamin b12 but inoculum is actually a starter with a sample of lab clear now the given figure represents a pyramid of biomass in an ecosystem you can see it is an inverted pyramid identify a and b select the correct answer so before uh, going into the options we will see the textbook where this comes and we will understand what it is and then we will check the options chapter ecosystem where this inverted pyramid is shown so it is mentioned here inverted pyramid of biomass small standing crop of phytoplankton so this is phytoplankton uh, uh, inverted pyramid of biomass this is a pyramid of biomass here small standing crop of phytoplankton and this supports the large standing crop of zooplankton so the topper one is zooplankton and here this is the the smaller one is the phytoplankton phytoplankton are small plants and zooplankton are animals now let's see the statement here pyramid of biomass in sea is generally inverted because the biomass of fishes far exceeds that of the phytoplankton so biomass of fishes are more when compared to the biomass of phytoplankton is that clear now let's get in the options a is the crop which supports b and b is the crop which is supported yes that is a statement given under the figure in the textbook a is the crop which is supported and b is the crop which supports no that's wrong a is phytoplankton and b zooplankton that's right a zooplankton b phytoplankton that's wrong so here they have asked for um, the correct options right identify a and b and select the correct answer so here 
the correct answer is 1 and 3. So option C is the correct answer. 1 and 3. During insertional inactivation, the presence of a chromogenic substrate which gives blue colored colonies if the plasmid in the bacteria does not have an insert. So here they are talking about the insertional inactivation to identify the recombinants in biotechnology. The blue color is produced by the enzyme. So let's check that insertional inactivation portion in the chapter biotechnology. Insertional inactivation, it's a procedure or it's a process to check if the bacteria or the organisms are, have recombined. So the presence of a chromogenic substrate gives blue colored colonies if the plasmid in the bacteria does not have an insert. So if we uh, don't, do not have an insert or uh, it has not recombined, the normal blue colored colonies will be produced. Presence of insert, if it has got recombined, actually the recombination acts uh, occur at a point of uh, the gene of or the location of beta galactosidase gene. Where the beta galactosidase gene is there, there is the insertion happening. So if it is inserted, then no beta galactosidase gene. And then the colonies do not produce any color. Okay, This is how we identify the recombinant colonies. Let, let's come back to the uh, question. So they are asking that uh, due to the presence of something that is uh, blue color is produced by the enzymes. Presence of certain enzyme gives the blue color that is beta galactosidase. Assertion, the plant hormones which serves as the food of herbivores and decomposes said to result from the primary productivity. The gross, producti gross primary productivity is the rate of total production of Sorry, here net primary productivity and the gross primary productivity is the rate of total production of organic material during the photosynthesis. So to know more about this question we should understand what is net and gross primary productivity. Let us move to the chapter. The chapter ecosystem. Here you can see uh, the productivity. Now let's see what is gross primary productivity and net primary productivity. Gross primary productivity of an ecosystem is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis. As a result of photosynthesis, what amount of organic matter is produced? That is a gross production. And from that, what the plant is utilized by uh, during its respiration. So as a result of respiration, certain amount of uh, energy is lost. So after reducing that energy, what we get is net primary productivity. So let's read the question once again. Uh, plant biomass which serve as the food for herbivores and decomposers is said to result from the net primary productivity. Yes, it is right because after the utilization of uh, during respiration by the plants, what is left is used by or eaten by the herbivores and decomposers. So this statement is correct. Reason. Gross primary productivity is the rate of total production of organic material or biomass during photosynthesis. The reason statement is also correct, but it is not explaining the assertion. So option B, both A and R are true and R is not the correct explanation of A. Next assertion. In a monohybrid cross, F1 generations indicate dominant character. Yes, obviously, during F1 generation, dominant characters will be expressed out. Reason. Dominance occurs only in heterozygous state. No, dominance occurs e both in heterozygous and ho <coughs> homozygous state. So, reason. The st statement reason is false. So, A is true, but R is false. Assertion. Many endemic species are seen to flourish in sacred forests. That is sacred grooves. Yes, it's true. Reason, sacred forests are undisturbed forest patches and biodiversity rich areas. Yes, it's right and that's why many endemic species are found there. So, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Next question, assertion, the primary productivity of different ecosystem can be easily compared. Magnitude of primary productivity depends on the photosynthetic capacity. <clears throat> Shall we check the textbook? So just now we have uh, learned from the ecosystem about the productivity, the same chapter, same page. Here they have mentioned what is primary productivity. So primary production is defined as the amount of biomass or organic matter produced per unit area over a time period by the plants during photosynthesis. So the whole biomass in that area, that's what we mean by primary production. So assertion statement. 
द प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ डिफरेंट इको सिस्टम कैन बी ईजली कंपेर्ड ओके द रेट ऑफ बायोमास प्रोडक्शन सो इट इज द बायोमास एक्चुअली द रेट ऑफ बायोमास इज कॉल्ड प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड इट इज एक्सप्रेस इन द टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राम्स और ईयर पर ईयर ओके Uh, so to compare the productivity of different ecosystems, so we can actually easily compare. We have measurements to compare the primary productivity. So the first statement is true. Second statement, that is the reason. The magnitude of the primary productivity depends upon the photosynthetic capacity of the producers. Ah, uh, yeah, the same statement is given here somewhere. Yeah, the primary productivity depends on the plant species. It's given here. Depends upon the plant species. Uh, inhabiting a particular area yes so assertion true reason true but reason is not explaining the assertion okay so here if they talk something about the gross and net it should be something explaining the statement but they are not explaining the statement these two are uh, individual or independent correct statement so both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a now let's move on to this section b first question